Greetings to you. We made it to October Bless. Thanks. Thanks for coming out. First we're going to be nourished by the good Lord, and then nourished by the wonderful food and everything else for today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. I then, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. One body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all, and through all, and in all. The word of the Lord. Now turn our mic over to Lisa. Hello everyone. I want to welcome everybody to October Bless. My name is Lisa. I'm a parishioner of St. Paul the Apostle Parish. I'm also on the evangelization team for this event. And I want to thank Father for this opportunity to share this reflection with you. And I also acknowledge and thank the event planning committee and the evangelization committee who put countless hours into planning this event. I mean countless hours. <laughs> So thank you guys. And also a special thanks to um, Anthony Cristello, who actually created this display for us. He's from our video on Carmel, and he's going to create three additional displays, which I'll be talking about later on as well, which we'll all be able to keep our participate in. Jesus taught in parables. He used stories to teach moral and spiritual lessons. And we will take a few minutes to reflect on one of those parables, John 15, 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. A branch cut off from the vine, its life source, is unnourished and unable to flourish. Jesus is our life source. Cut off from Jesus, we are unnourished and unable to flourish. Jesus tells us in John 10.10, 10, I came that they may, have, they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full overflow. Therefore, it is an act of obedience to live this true life that Jesus came and died for us to have. So how does one live this true life? Jesus is very clear in John 15. Remain in and abide in me, the true vine, the source of true life. We'll use the Christian life wheel as an example. And I know this is small. But this is what it looks like. So the spokes connect the rim to the hub. So the rim is our daily life. The hub is Jesus Christ. The spokes include prayer, community, service, and study. Without the spokes transmitting power and direction from Jesus to our daily lives, we will not be able to move forward in our Christian life. We will lack spiritual maturity something that we should be striving for. Therefore, make prayer, studying God's word, meeting with other Christians, <laughs> and right in Christian service, a regular, if not daily, part of your life. And remember, this is an act of, of obedience. Sorry, the mic's kind of cutting in and out, I think. The meaning of the Christian life wheel and the vine and branches parable is one and the same. It's all about unity with Christ in our Christian community. Church is not a gathering space, but a rather a gathering of a body of believers. We are the church, the body of Christ. And Jesus wants every part of the body present and participating so his church, his vineyard, can fully function, grow, and bear good fruit. The Bible says good fruit is fruit that lasts. All for the glory of God. John 15, 1 describes God as the gardener or vine dresser, who in verse 2, he cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. 
When you accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, you receive the power of the Holy Spirit. You receive new life and begin to grow in the fruits of the Spirit. Through an intimate relationship with Jesus, that's that prayer, study, community, and service, these fruits are cultivated within you, and you begin to experience that full, abundant, and overflowing life. These fruits include joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, and the greatest of these, love. Together, the fruits of our labor can produce a harvest of believers to grow God's vineyard. We talked about the vine and the branches and the fruit, but what about the leaves? What do they signify? The leaves represent our individual commitment to stay connected to Christ. Each household will have an opportunity to write their individual or family name on a leaf that Father will then bless at a future Mass. A large display of the vine and branches will be present at each parish, and everyone within the parish community will be able to add their leaf to the display. There will be much more information coming on that in the near future. Also, feel free to check out some flyers on the table. Um, there's some upcoming events for the Catholic Charismatic Renewal of the Albany Diocese. You might be interested in attending those. Thank you for your time and enjoy the remainder of the event. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Bless us, Lord, in these thy gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take good care, everybody. Enjoy the day. Bon appetit. Okay. Thanks,